Hello everyone, I'm back with another video, and in today's video, we're going to be up against Hero Dominator. And, uh, of course, the uh, map is Long Crusade, and, uh, yeah, normally this map is disgusting as it is a farmville, like space farm, aviation farm, which can be abused on this map. Alright, well, um, just spot him anyway. <laughs> okay, so, oh, and, uh... 86% win rate, oh, 82% win rate, 77%, well, whatever. Of course, if you're new to my channel, subscribe to my channel, and ring the bell icon to be notified of any content, and of course, smash the like button. Let's go. Okay, I'm going to be spawning on the right bottom hand corner of the map, and he will be spawning on the left, uh, upper left corner of the map. Okay, so we skip and uh, gather those, all those containers. Again, Armadillo, Avia Factory, Special Vehicle Factory, and the Research Facility for that Wasp, Dragonfly, and uh, Porcupine. Super container appearing right here. And I'm going to have to try and gather this container. And let's see how this goes here. We got like plenty of riflemen around here as well as an armadillo. Two armadillo and a dragonfly. Okay. And even a wasp. I got the armadillo's, uh, you know, cells apart so that the active ability of the service will not kill them one twice. You know, like in one jump. Here goes this the uh, Cerberus. So... Keep in mind that the Cerberus is being fired upon by two dragonflies, two armadillo, a wasp, and a porcupine. Okay. One damage. Okay. One jump. Okay. There you go. Switching to come and attack now. Three armadillos now. Two armadillos has been destroyed by that Cerberus. Three armadillos has now been destroyed by that Cerberus. Yeah. That Cerberus died. Killed three armadillos. Killed my wasp. And the rifleman. Cerberus in buff. Cerberus needs buff. Okay, so after killing, <laughs> I don't know, 660 uh, worth of resources for the amount of 300 resource cost, I don't know. <coughs> and then the other units of the Confederation here arrived at the super container, which means I no longer have anything to contend with it. So, I initially lost this engagement here and a huge loss to my base development due to the fact that I invested a ton of resources for me to get that super container. However, I lost majority if not all of my units to get it. Okay. Now, because of that, I added one more supply center to at least compensate for the losses as the battle progresses. He's actually harassing me with that hammer. Typhoon already arrived here. And I'm going to have to retreat. Go HQ4, level 3 vehicle factory. More porcupines here on my end. He actually tried to snipe that supply center of mine while the hammers are being guarded by two typhoons. Yeah, typhoon damage. And he's not using a boost for air raid there. Okay. And now, Seraphim followed. I'm using an air raid boost. He actually tried to kill or destroy my vehicle factory. Now, that Seraphim was being fired upon by three porcupines and a dragonfly. Even activated the skill while standing still. And still live to see another day. And just went away. 
Okay. So, fast forward by a bit here. Okay. I reconstructed that supply center that I lost. Uh, porcupines scattered across my base, of course, more leaning towards this side since my factory is around here that is badly bruised up. And he already has a vertex based on my hidden rifleman. So I'm actually protecting my, uh, uh, my vehicle factory around here, but this time around I'm gonna have to try and contend against that super container once again. And again, I see that Cerberus jumping at my porcupine, killing it in the process. Against this many units. Okay, that was not a direct hit. Good thing. Seraphim attacked, destroyed one, com oh, one Jaguar. I managed to get that super container, and that's actually a good thing. Okay, here we go now. Dragonfly. Destroying all those units that are that have passed the bridge or crossed the bridge. Okay, I see here typhoons. Okay, and so... Chameleon out of place here on my end, although there's this obstruction in the middle that prevents me from getting into a good formation. So I'm going to have to retreat. Solaris appearing right around here. Okay. I'm going to have to try and nuke those uh, units that are out of position or out of the uh, shield cover. Bam. Huge damage dealt. I'm going to have to use the dragonflies to chase after that Solaris after dealing a huge damage on my army. He's also way out of position. But the Seraphim came here to help out the Solaris. Yep. Okay. I'm actually using an airy boost, but now I switch to come and attack. I do have two mammoths and the two Jaguars around here and a Leviathan as well, or three Jaguars, five. Yeah, three Jaguars here. Vertex are actually attacking the, well, <clears throat> my Leviathan here. Dragonfly again to help out. Mm. Well, as usual, <laughs> Cerberus jumping, insta-killing a unit. There you go. Now my mammoths are attacking those typhoons, and my Jaguars are slowly chipping away at those zoos. I don't know what those Vertex are doing, but they're not really firing. See, they're not firing. So technically those Vertex are targeting the Chameleon. However, the Chameleon's activated, so they could not really fire at it. <laughs> Talk about not micro Vertex. Okay, now the Zeus has all been destroyed. All there's left is that Seraphim and then the Typhoons that are not micro. Now, I did put my Wasp here to defend my uh, Leviathan for just a split second there. But thanks to the class, it's not really that effective due to the radius. Oh my goodness. My Leviathan is so low! Okay, not really a direct hit. Additional Typhoons here on his end. Again... Shield covering the Solaris, making it live to see another day. However, that's all he has left. And I'm going to have to try and use this opportunity to attack that Solaris. <clears throat> Three Jaguars here. Kablooey. And it's dead. Alright, recovery boost to recover the HP of my badly bruised up units here. Fast forward. He's trying to gather, or, yeah, get that super container. But again, another Cerberus here. And he already got it. Well, I don't really care at this point, since he lost a ton of stuff. Again, Seraphim.
dead. Now keep in mind that that Seraphim could have lived if that Seraphim were treated. However, he did not really micro them effectively. And so I'm going to have to use this opportunity to kill or destroy those shields. Now that, sh that Typhoon almost takes no damage under the effect of the shield. Weird. Balance. Okay, and then I chased him after here, but the thing is that he already has a Solaris and my army is actually in a straight line. So it would be very bad for me to chase after him even further because of that Solaris active skill that can wipe out the entirety of my army in just one straight swoop. Okay, so instead I'm going to use recovery boost to recover the HP of my badly boosted units along with the hero. And then of course gain my dominance over this area of the map. Now, I actually see him moving forward here, and I'm actually expecting him to not be in position, so it's going to be ending up in a base trade, or him falling back to defend his base. Vertex is here. Seraphim will, will be destroyed, and I'm actually focusing on that X facility. However, those Vertex made quick work out of my Dragonfly and Wasps that are not protected by the Porcupine, as the Porcupines are actually slow. Work it, uh, okay. The army has catched up here, and so I'm going to have to use my army in a good formation. Ooh, almost killing them. I'm pretty sure that he's using another boost that is not related to common defense, attack, or air raid. That's why the Solaris did not kill him. Here goes. Solar, uh, Leviathan skill. Shield activated. Chameleons run out of energy. Only one chameleon remains. I'm gonna have to spread my units apart. He only has like two typhoons and some zoos firing at the Leviathan. Solaris has been destroyed, and I'm going to have to use this opportunity to destroy as many shield and zoos that I can. Since this shield is not properly microed and has been destroyed by the porcupine and my Leviathan. Using a recovery boost to recover the HP of my badly bruised up unit. And that's their uh, servers again. Yes. That's five Zeus firing at that Cerberus, and it's still alive. Yeah. Alright. Oh, he's producing a hero again. I'm not exactly sure what hero is it this time, but I'm not going to allow him to produce any more. But again, that Seraphim popped up. I'm expecting the Seraphim to activate the skill. And the passive ability of the uh, Seraphim is hitting my Solaris full brunt. Seraphim has been destroyed due to poor micro. And now he's after my... Jaguars, although that Zeus is not microed properly. And again, I'm just after that X facility, preventing him from producing any more heroes. Bam. And so I'm going to have to use this opportunity as he doesn't really have a law here. And... You know, these confeds, similar to this player, not all, are mainly relying on their hero to win. Without it, they're not good players. Majority of the time, they win mostly because of their heroes anyway, since it's overpowered. There you go. Vertex here. Acid Strike. And I'm going to have to lay waste and secure my victory. Likewise, everyone, that's going to be all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to subscribe, smash the like button, leave a comment down below as to what are your thoughts into this video. Don't forget to check my previous videos as they contain tips, tricks that can help you win a battle. Likewise, everyone, thank you so much for watching. Have yourself a great day and good luck with your battles. Bye now.